battery's dying. Good start. Hi everyone, welcome back today. So, so, I'm gonna have to say more than that to make this a vlog. So what I'm thinking right now is that today's Tuesday, right? Tuesday, yeah. Early in the week, I'm usually thinking about what I'm going to be posting on the weekend. So I was trying to brainstorm what's gonna happen this week. So I'm not really doing anything exciting to vlog this weekend. We didn't vlog last weekend. Actually, that's not true. I might be doing something at the end of the weekend, but I'm not sure if that'll make it into this vlog. We'll see. <clears throat> so I'm trying to think about what I could either vlog or film for the weekend. Nothing much was coming to mind, but what I do know is that when I turn on this camera and I just start saying something, it's like opening a can of worms. All of a sudden, all of a sudden there's a lot of footage, sometimes way too much footage. So I figured I'd just turn the camera on. I'm just doing my makeup right now. Um, hmm. No big promises for this vlog. I literally don't have any plans to leave the house for the next few days. So it might be a home vlog, we'll see. What you get is what you get over here. It's whatever I feel like filming. And if I happen to be at home, I'm not gonna fake anything, right? I thought I would talk about actually something I picked up yesterday. I actually have started to run out of my usual face lotion, which has not been that easy to find here, I have found. The drugstores are much smaller than what we have back home. Um, and I just didn't feel like searching for it online and paying $20 in shipping. So it's actually almost time to go home, which is crazy. We're going home for Christmas. I think I'm gonna go home a little earlier than Ken. So uh, mid-December-ish, I'll be flying home and I can pick up another one of these, but I needed something to last me until then. So this is one I've been using for years. It's a lot, the Roche Posay Hydra Face Intense Light. My skin loves this stuff. I could probably put half this bottle on my face and my skin would just drink it up. It has hyaluronic acid in it, which my skin also really loves. Really just plumps the skin, makes it look nice and fresh. So I've loved that stuff. Can't easily find it here, at least that I've seen. So I went out looking for something else and I came across this guy. It's the L'Oreal Hydrogenesis Aloe Vera. This one's for sensitive dry skin. Also has hyaluronic acid in it. The thing that sold me on it is the texture of this stuff. It is similar to the lotion. So it's kind of like a gel. It's almost a little bit see-through, just soaks into the skin like it's water. I tried it for the first time last night and all is well, no reactions, which is always a pleasant surprise for me because my skin is definitely sensitive. It doesn't like a lot of things. I had to be careful what I put on my face. So I tried it last night and my skin drank it up overnight. I actually put one layer of this on when I got ready for bed and then I watched some more TV downstairs. Uh, Ken and I sat on the couch for a while and then right before I went to bed when I went to brush my teeth, I put on another layer. I just wanted to see if it was actually going to, my skin was gonna drink it up or if it was just gonna kinda sit as a layer on my skin. I found some products like this, you put it on and then you wake up and you can like move it around on your skin and it starts peeling off in little white pieces and stuff. So this stuff seems to have absorbed quite well. So I'm happy with it so far, it smells really nice. It smells like a shampoo actually. It's a little strong for me, but it has a nice smell. So yeah, like that so far. I tried it again this morning. I'm going to see how it wears under makeup because that's going to be like the true test. This is kind of my under makeup face lotion. It definitely has like a bit of a glow under my makeup, which has me a little bit concerned. Um, but maybe if I switch to my other foundation that's a bit more mattifying, it will work out, which would be this one. That's my go-to. Um, but the true test is going to be this evening to see how oily or greasy I get. Because my skin is dry, but with certain products, if it's not providing the right moisture to my skin, my skin overproduces oil and I get greasy here and here, especially on my forehead. So we'll see. I mean, it looks really good in the mirror here, not so much in camera. The light's kind of emphasizing all the bad stuff on my face, but in regular light, I think it looks quite nice. Very early in the game with that. The other thing I picked up was a nude eyeliner. I've been seeing this in a lot of people's Instagrams lately and I was clearly influenced. So I picked up the cheapest one I could find in the shop. I think it was like $2.99. It's just the Eidos brand, their nude eyeliner. You just put it like in your waterline on the bottom half here and it's supposed to make you look more awake and alert. I used to do this a lot uh, many, many years ago. So I'm sure I actually have very similar products sitting at home, but of course when we packed up and moved here, I wasn't into it. Left the product behind, store of my life. Six months later, I want everything that's at home and I'm bored by everything that I brought with me. But uh, that's moving life, expat life. What can you do? 
And the other thing I'm testing out today is my mascara, my beloved Voluminous Lash Paradise. It's my favorite mascara, or one of my favorites. Definitely in the top three. This guy is so old. He's definitely seen better days. He's on his last legs to the point where it's just like crusty <laughs> on the actual wand, but I just couldn't bring myself to get rid of it. A brand new one here I think is like 16 euros, which seems quite expensive for me. I want to say this is about 10 bucks at home. So and I'm almost home, so I couldn't do it. So I thought I would try to extend the life. I've heard of putting just regular eye drops, a couple of eye drops into your mascara to kind of loosen the, the dry formula again. And it seems, I mean, I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna test it out, see how this goes. So my camera says it's about to die, but I'm just gonna continue on here. And we'll try this mascara. Let's see how this goes. My hands are shaking like crazy because I had coffee and I haven't eaten yet. <laughs> uh, ooh. Ooh. Certainly better than it was before. Okay. I'm trying really hard not to do crazy mascara mouth. <laughs> I would say that worked like a charm. Nice. I'll definitely pick up a new one when we're back home, but that's that worked like a dream. And it cost me nothing because I already had the eye drops. <laughs> Let's throw the white eyeliner or the nude eyeliner and see how that looks. Mm, this is gonna be difficult with one hand. Really difficult when your hands are shaking as much as mine are right now. Do I look more alert or just crazy? I bet Ken's gonna notice that. I have a feeling. <laughs> All right, camera died at the end there. So downstairs having my lunch. Uh, While well, that charges back up again, I'm halfway dressed. <laughs> I've put a blouse on, took my hair down, put a hat on because again, we're on Greasy Street. <laughs> Plan out my hair schedule like based on what I'm doing during the week or on the weekend. I could have washed it today, but I have to wash it again in a couple days. I'm just gonna try to stretch it out and avoid another wash. Be lazy, basically, is what I'm doing. And I've got my sweatpants on and my slippers. Once the camera's charged up a little bit, I'll head back upstairs and show you how I put an outfit together. I've already kind of gotten in my head what I want to wear, I think. We'll see how it turns out. It might be a little bit too cowboyish, but I might have to make some minor adjustments. But until then, having some lunch, I had my chia seed pudding in yogurt, um, devoured that because I was so hungry. I don't know if you could tell, my hands were literally like, could not hold my hands straight. It was so good. Didn't add any honey or anything to it today. I just had... Activia yogurt and my chia seed pudding. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can go see my last video. I talked about it there. Actually, I have to make another batch, so maybe I'll do that later in the vlog. Neighbor's looking at me again. She really thinks I'm something else. <laughs> I'm having a weird snack plate. <laughs> Ken's doing a lot of long hours this week, so I've kept our groceries fairly minimal, and I just eat like snacks all day, basically. That's how I live. So I have some cherry tomatoes that are about to go off. Sauerkraut that's left over from our bratwurst night that we had last week. Still working on that. It's really delicious, actually. And I'm not able to find dill pickles here. <laughs> There's tons of pickles here, but they're all sour and sweet. Or no, what are they called? Sweet and something. None of them are dill. And that's one of my favorite things to eat at home. So really missing that sour, dilly kind of taste, but sauerkraut kind of fills that void for me right now and some cheese from a cheese plate we made, we made um, over the weekend. And that's it. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this up and then we'll go get dressed properly. Oh man, I am watching a show called Swamp Murders. As the name would suggest, it's very cheesy. <laughs> Probably one of the worst true crime shows I've seen. They're talking to the actual people involved, but it's basically just really terrible soap opera acting bit painful but we only have a few channels that are in English so luckily one of them is crime and it's not always swamp murders but <laughs> that's what I'm watching for now that's all I got <laughs> okay now that we've got some juice back in you let's work on the outfit because this is not the best <laughs> starting with these guys this is my most recent Ugh. Vintage Thrift Find. I actually like a proper shop in the Jordan area. I forget what it's called now. It's just up from La Perla, if you know that pizza shop. 
really cute little place in there. Two really cool girls that run it. Love all their stuff in there, but I happened to run into these and I could not help myself. I'm very much into the cowboy boot trend right now. So they're a little bit big for me. They're actually a women's 38 and I'm normally about a six, but by the time I've got my big winter socks in them, they fit just perfectly. I actually did some little, a bit of work on them uh, myself the other day because they, they're so old and worn that the leather on the inside here the glue had worn off and it was starting to curl, so whenever I was wearing these with just bare legs, they were just scraping the hell out of me. I could barely make it two blocks without breaking some skin around my calf, so um, I got myself some super glue and then used an instrument to really press it all down nice and flat. And then the edges that were still raw, I just used a nail file to smooth it out a little bit. Obviously sandpaper might be a better option for that, but the nail file worked just fine and now they're super comfortable. Um, yeah, I think I paid 30 euros for these, so not like thrift shop prices. They're an actual shop, but I think that was still a pretty good deal for a really nice, solid, already broken in cowboy boot. They actually say somewhere that they were made in Spain. Yeah, I love this stuff. Really old, worn in, retro style tags like this. Just make my heart go pitter patter. I can't tell what the brand is. Maybe any cowboy boot enthusiasts might recognize that, but they are a nice quality boot. Very excited. I love that they've got some um, embroidery too. A lot of them that I, were looking at, I was looking at online were just plain black, and I think these ones are just a little more interesting. All neutrals though, brown, beige, and black. So I'm going to put on what I think might be a good outfit with these. I actually had it on the other day. But now I've got the hat on, so it might change things. I was wearing it just with my big, huge, oversized H&M sweater. Uh, this thing is meant to be oversized, and then I got it in a medium, and I'd normally be a small. So it doubles as a sweater and a dress, <laughs> a sweater dress. I usually wear it over jeans, and then with the little tie around my waist, or just open over jeans with a t-shirt underneath. I think I shared that in my easy fall outfits video I did a little while back. But today I think I'm just going to go bare legs, um, wear it as a dress, got my hat on, and then my cowboy boots. It might just feel like I'm playing dress up and I might have to do something else, but that's what I'm thinking, so let's try it. And I forgot to mention that um, I just grabbed a blouse to put underneath it just as an extra layer. I chose something that was v-neck because I want to be able to keep that shape and that neckline with the sweater here once I get it on. I don't want to cover it up with a crew neck underneath. I just want it to be nice and open. So that's gonna do the trick. There'll be enough open space here that it'll give me an extra little layer underneath the sweater, but also keep the V-shape intact. I actually quite like it, even with the hat on. I think it would actually look better with my nat natural face rather than a full face of makeup, but I wanted to try out that new moisturizer underneath actual makeup, which my hopes are quickly fading with this. I don't feel like I'm gonna like it, but I'm gonna give it a few more tries, but I feel like I'm kind of sliding around a little bit more than I like, but it's only day one. So I didn't end up adding the uh, gold necklace. I thought I would just keep it really nice and simple with just boots, sweater dress, hat, um, my very recycled curls. Really love the boots, super comfortable too. And underneath I just have my little um, beige, they're kind of like bike, biker shorts, not quite shape works, they don't really hold anything in, but just a little coverage underneath. And then of course I got the little blouse underneath. Very comfortable, I think it looks quite cool, quite effortless um, in my opinion. <laughs> So yeah, I'm excited to style these boots a few different ways. Personally, I really like them with a bare leg, like with a dress, even with like a midi length dress or maxi dress versus jeans. I think they might actually look quite cool with jeans over top of them though, just the bottom of the boot sticking out. This is kind of my favorite way to, way to wear them. Just uh, with a little dress like this. And of course, the best cowboy boots are the ones that are already worn in, not the brand new ones, in my opinion. So if you're looking for cowboy boots, hit up your local thrift stores. Um, often, there's a ton of them there. So, yeah, success, I would say. What do you think? Do you hate it? Do you love it? Do you want to wear it? Let me know down below. That was a Bailey Sarian uh, quote, in case you didn't know what that was. <laughs> so while I'm in the vlogging spirit, I thought I would show you another uh, vintage thrift item that I picked up just yesterday actually one of them 
it actually just came out of the wash so it's still wet not the best time to show it to you but i'll show it to you while i'm up here anyways put you down here one second go collect it from the laundry so it's still wet so it's a little bit darker than it will be when it's dry obviously but i found this at that shop on Westerstrat. I think it's called Ari for anybody that's local and has been asking about what that shop is. But it's like just a giant storage room of random crap. I went through there yesterday and if you're any bigger than me, and I'm not I'm not a huge person, you would have a hard time getting through that shop. It's just one little tiny walkway stuff up to the ceiling. I almost I had vertigo a few times while I was in there actually yesterday, just because I felt like stuff was <laughs> falling down on me but it wasn't and afraid to touch anything I had to ask her for anything I wanted to see this tiny little woman pushing all this stuff out of the way to yank a coat from way underneath but anyways I end up finding this um, buried treasure among all the crap that's in there it's not crap but you know what I mean and I was so excited to see it this is like a true like really old sweater you can see it's like it's quite worn and pilled very well loved it's almost like that tissue weight really really Thin, not much left to it. That's part of the reason I love it. It's got a really old vintage tag on it. it just says Best Sellers Association Horse New Orleans Champ Western Ranch. Paid five euros for that sucker and I was so happy with that. I can't wait to wear it. I want it to dry quickly so I can wear it tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so there's one more thing that I'll show you. It's downstairs. It's actually kind of for Ken. Ken picked it out. And we haven't even unboxed it yet, so we'll get to do that. So excited about this. It's kind of a nice oversized men's fit too. Not men's fit. No, it's a girl's fit, but it's oversized. It could be clothing or pajamas. <laughs> Isn't that the dream? On to the next. Isn't this fun? It's like a little treasure hunt of vintage finds around the house. Can I sit down? Did I put it too high? All right, so this is another little shop that is in the Jordan area. No idea what the name of it is but it is right next to the nail salon called Pink. Um, tiny, tiny little spot, like you would miss it if you blinked, but Ken just happened to spot these glasses in there and we've been meaning to go back ever since, probably like three, four weeks ago. Um, they're only open on Saturdays, so <laughs> trying to coordinate took us a little while. So they wrapped everything up nicely for us into this paper bag. The woman is there just on Saturdays with her son, so he did some decoration for us. We're not really sure what it is, but it's very sweet. The lady was really nice in there. Oh, look how pretty those are. Um, so they're meant for like a hard liquor, basically. I'm not sure exactly what Ken plans to put in them. I would drink, well, I'd drink anything out of these. <laughs> but I think you could put like port or something in there, right? Not meant for port, but but also I think you would make a cute little um, dessert um, cup as well. Small, but really pretty. Crystal. I'm not sure if it's real crystal, but it feels like they're super heavy. They feel delicate. Have to hand wash these, I'm sure. And then they have the little like garage sale tagging, handwritten little sticky, three euros each. So I think we got a set of four of those. I'm just such a sucker for handwritten little tags like that. They get me, and I think that's a bargain too, the three euros each. And then, we also spotted these. These were a euro fifty each, same material. I'm not sure if they're real crystal, but they feel really fancy, really heavy. So they're a euro fifty, the handwritten tag again, little shot glasses. So we got two of those. There was only two there, so I kind of felt bad splitting them up. <laughs> they're like little twins, you don't want to split them up and they're only a euro 50 each, so maybe I could drink my port from these. This is probably more of a port glass than these guys are. Yeah, super happy with those. Yeah, so the whole thing came to 15 bucks. Not bad, I don't think. And now we look really fancy with our new glassware. We just need to invite some people over for dinner. <laughs> we are actually going out to dinner this coming weekend, Friday actually. We're doing a Friendsgiving with a bunch of Ken's coworkers. We've all signed up for different parts of the dinner. So we're in charge of stuffing. So we've got somebody doing the turkey. Hopefully they don't give us food poisoning. The other people have signed up for strange things. Dessert, brownies, donuts, <laughs> ice cream. And uh, we're kind of like, Ooh, what are we gonna be eating for dinner here? It might just be stuffing an interesting turkey and some brownies, but 
Oh well. Good find, Kenny. Okay, I'm gonna quickly make up my uh, chia pudding so it has lots of time to sit overnight. It'll be ready for the morning. Really easy. Can't mess it up. So I just use this little Tupperware container we got from Takeaway Food one time. It's just perfect size for what we're doing here. Then you need a one cup measuring cup and a one quarter. This is the chia seed, just regular old chia seed, full of omega-3s, good brain food. And then this is the soy milk of choice I'm using right now. Whatever liquid you wanna use is fine. If you wanna use regular milk, almond milk, water, whatever your heart desires. So all you do is one cup of soy milk, one cup, one quarter cup of the chia seed, and mix it up. This one actually looks like eggnog, which I quite like. Probably wouldn't any other time of year, but <laughs> right now it looks delicious. I can't drink eggnog because I'm lactose sensitive, but I do love it. Quarter cup. A little bit more. Give it a good mix up. Make sure they're all going for a good dunk. So that looks pretty good for now. Just throw the lid on and then in another 20, 30 minutes or sometime later in the evening, I'll give it another stir again in the morning and then it'll be all set and it'll look just like it did in my last video. Happy Wednesday. Got my new thrift sweater on today. Very much in love with it. Crimped my hair. I ended up having to uh, wash my hair. I couldn't stand any longer. And I figured, because I want it to be properly clean and smelling nice for Friday when we go to Friendsgiving, I decided to give it an extra wash today. I do my vinegar rinse today so I don't smell like vinegar on Friday when I wash it. Again, with just regular shampoo. So, <sighs> replanned the hair plants. So I just threw in some crimps. This literally took me probably five minutes to do. It'll look even better tomorrow, actually, because right now it's a little bit, you know, Shakira. <laughs> Sometimes I add um, a little bit of water to it and I just kind of smooth it out throughout the day. I don't like to run my fingers through it because then it kind of loses. Doesn't quite look right. Still love the crimps, especially for like updo stuff. I think it looks really cool. And with hats, for sure. Use the same face lotion moisturizing product today, the L'Oreal one, and then I use my more mattifying foundation. I think that works a little bit better. It's still not sold on this. I still feel like I look a little bit more shiny than I want to, but I don't hate it, so that's the good news. <laughs> what else is going on today? So far, I've just been editing photos, editing what I vlogged yesterday, getting going on my thumbnail, which I actually quite like. For some reason, I used to hate creating a thumbnail, which is like the little picture that you see before you click on the video. But now I kind of like it. I kind of, like I think about it as I'm filming what would be a good thumbnail. Should I take a picture of this? Should I take a picture of that? Editing it, importing it, putting them two together, figuring out where the words are gonna go, spacing, being a little bit OCD about all that. It's fun. I really should have vlogged yesterday again because I ended up going out for a little bit of a walk and a wander. I just kind of like took out recycling, wandered around the area. Um, but it was dark, like dark, dark by about four. So there was no point. I had thought about it, but you wouldn't have been able to see anything anyways. So unfortunately this vlog is going to be a little bit of a home vlog. Well, not a little bit. It's an at-home vlog. Hopefully you're still enjoying it though. I like vlogging at home and I don't ever want to feel pressure to have to go outside to vlog. So it's supposed to rain most of today. I doubt I'll be going out anyways. The exciting thing we're maybe doing at the end of the week, I'm pretty sure it's going to happen now. We've been corresponding via email, is um, a photographer from Toronto contacted me and asked if she want, if I wanted to meet up with her to do some photos around town and around our house and stuff, even with Ken. Ken wasn't thrilled with the idea, but he will partake if he has to. I always think it's nice to have photos of 
wherever we're living at the time, just happy little memories of our towns that we've been in. So I think we're gonna meet up on Friday morning, nice morning light for photography. Do some photos around here in the apartment, so hopefully I'll get to see those on my Instagram. If you don't already follow over there, make sure uh, you are. I feel like YouTube's a little bit less polished. It's more like real life and Instagram's a little bit more creative, fun, polished, usually. This one piece is driving me nuts. And then I think we're gonna meet up with her again briefly on Sunday, if we can make it work between all of us so that we can get a few photos of Ken and I together because obviously Ken will be at work on Friday. Yeah, so that's exciting. I've been trying to, you know, not stuff my face with biscuits <coughs> and wine every night. Although I did buy more cookies yesterday, little ginger snaps. <sighs> that was tough not to eat the whole box. I feel like I look so shiny. It might just be this light. Maybe if I back up here. Yeah. I don't know. Jury's out on that one. So yeah, that is the update for now. Um, I'll probably catch up with you a bit later.